Hello, Dr. Nikki Stewart here, and I just want to say welcome. Welcome to the 30 Days to Healthy Living program with Arbonne, and I look forward to working alongside you in this journey to getting healthier. So if we are working individually outside of the 30-day program, I am so happy that you decided to incorporate this into your lifestyle changes. You know, this program goes right along with exactly oh, what I'm working with you on. So creating that healthy, long-lasting uh, lifestyle habit changes, and not just for the next 30 days, but for long after that as well. So in your kit, you will have two bags of vegan protein shake mix. You will have one bag of fiber boost, two boxes of herbal detox tea, uh, two boxes of energy fizz sticks, one box of digestion plus, as well as one box of the daily cleanse with seven packets. And you may have also received the greens balance and opted to add on the protein boost as well. So incorporating these products into your daily habit is meant to be easy. So here's kind of how you can do that. So step one is going to be to eliminate all of those allergen triggers and those toxic ingredients. So these are gonna be things like gluten, dairy, processed or fake sugars, alcohol, coffee, soy, and artificial flavors and colors. Why, you might ask? Because these ingredients actually require our bodies to work overtime in breaking them down. So it actually places more stress on an already stressed out system. So think of your body like a bathtub, and the drain are, are, is our organs of elimination, such as the kidneys and the liver. So those organs do their best to you know, filter all the junk out that we come into contact with on a daily basis, you know, filter it out of our bodies. However, especially in today's society, processed foods, artificial ingredients, and really just our general environment and fast-paced lifestyles has just turned our faucets onto our bathtub. They have turned them on full blast. So what happens is that our drains begin to get clogged up. And we can't filter out everything because it's coming in so fast. So our organs do their best, but not only do they have to filter, but they have other processes that they are responsible for, such as the making of proteins, the processing of fats, elimination of fluids, you know, and much more. In fact, the liver itself is responsible for well over 200 different functions. And some research out there is actually indicating it's upwards of 500 functions that just the liver is responsible for. So what exactly does that even mean? It means that although it's draining as fast as it can, it's also trying to focus on other you know, vital functions. So this means that oftentimes uh, that detoxification part gets slowed down or even put on the back burner in a way. So our tub or body starts to back up. Now your body is super smart about this because it doesn't wanna stick those toxins that haven't gotten filtered out yet anywhere that could cause serious danger. So it doesn't stick it around vital organs. Instead, it sticks it in the safest place it can think of, the fat cells. So in fact, this is also why some people often will go on a special diet plan or a fad diet and they'll lose weight, but then they often gain it all back and often plus some whenever they go off of that special diet plan because unless you're also pulling out those toxins and replacing it with good nutrition, those toxins are still hanging out there in those fat cells. No matter how much those cells might shrink up, those toxins are still gonna be there. So by eliminating these ingredients that cause your body to work overtime to digest, it helps to allow your system to catch up. You know, to start focusing on eliminating those toxins then, that are there so you can start unclogging the drain. And as our drain becomes more and more unclogged, it allows our organs to function better. So remember how I said 
so many processes were completed by the liver and that the kidney was another big organ of, of elimination. Okay, so follow me here for just a minute. Your liver creates a hormone that is called angiotensinogen. And this is responsible for raising your blood pressure. Now, it has to be activated by an enzyme called renin. And renin comes from your kidneys. So when your kidneys sense that your blood pressure or blood volume is low, it sends out renin. Renin heads to your liver, and then the liver makes an angiotensinogen to raise your blood pressure. So isn't our body amazing? But wait, that could also mean that something as simple as not drinking enough water over time could actually cause our blood pressure to go up. So now, if you're eating a lot of processed foods, which can cause a toxin buildup, affecting the effectiveness of your organs and the work that needs to be done. So that's a really simple way of looking at it, but hopefully you see my point, that there are so many functions that your organs are responsible for and that everything is connected. So the inability of your organs to function properly can not only affect you in the way of you're just generally feeling run down and tired or how well you sleep, but even your ability to maintain your weight and other disorders such as high or low blood pressure or even the prevalence of diabetes. So helping to pull these toxic ingredients out of your daily habit is a great first step. Okay, so step two, you're gonna replace two meals a day with a healthy shake. This can be breakfast, lunch, or dinner, however you wanna do it. You'll do two shakes per day and then one balanced meal. So for example, you could do a shake for breakfast at eight in the morning, then around 10, you could have a little snack, maybe like a banana, handful of almonds. You can even have one of your energy fist sticks. And at lunch, you could do your second shake with a snack and a fist stick again about three o'clock and then a lean and green dinner at six. So that lean and green meal should mostly be vegetables. So you wanna fill about half of your plate with vegetables. And then you want to have about a fourth of your plate consist of lean proteins, such as wild fish, chicken, turkey, grass-fed beef, tofu, beans, or lentils, okay? And an eighth of your plate should be good carbohydrates, like brown rice, or my favorite, quinoa, beets, or even sweet potatoes. Now, the other eighth of your plate should be good fat like nuts, seeds, olive oil, avocado, flax seeds, coconut oil, uh, or grapeseed oil. So if we are also working one-on-one -on -one outside of this program, I'll give you additional personalized foods and a plan that you can follow that will be a little more customized to what your body needs and what you should avoid. So be sure to refer to that food list when you're creating your meals. Now you can make a shake in a few different ways. A meal replacement shake may consist of two scoops of protein powder, one scoop of daily fiber boost, a half of cup, half of a cup of almond or coconut or rice milk, and then a half a cup of water and two to three ice cubes. And you can blend this in a small blender or you can just put it in a shaker cup, whatever you wanna do and you can add more liquid or a little less based on how thick you want the consistency to be. You can also choose to add in some fruit, but you wanna watch your sugar intake, a uh, fizz stick, your digestion plus packet, uh, your greens balance, or even your protein boost as well. So do remember that if you add your digestion plus to a shake, that you only have to do that to one shake per day. There is additional recipes and shake information in your 30-day packet that comes with your product. So if you have not received that email that has that packet in there, um, it's just a digital packet, or you have any questions regarding the use of the products, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. So as you begin this journey, 
please note that it's a process. You know, you're making lifestyle habit changes. So don't beat yourself up if you have a slip up. Just keep going and do the best that you can and know that the next decision you make is going to be a better one. Now, we don't want to give ourselves too much leeway though, right? Because otherwise we'd just be back to where we started. But I'm encouraging you to not stress yourself out over it either. You know, so many times I see patients that have started a certain dietary program for it to only last a week or two because it's extremely strict and it's completely against their lifestyle and what they like. So while we're making changes, they're meant to be lasting changes. So one day at a time, one decision at a time, you know, plan ahead. We're going to choose to make the best and healthiest decisions that we can. I always tell patients, we're gonna treat food like medicine and we're gonna be our own doctor. And when it comes to choosing the right prescription for you, choose the best one that's possible. Now, as you incorporate dietary changes, you'll most likely begin to notice a few things as well. So some individuals may experience fatigue or mood swings, possibly a headache or two, or even an increase in the craving for the foods that they've removed from their diet, like candy bars, potato chips, and so forth. So stay strong. <laughs> it's actually a good thing because your body is detoxifying. And I promise that after the first 24 to 48 hours, your body will start to let go of those toxins and those cravings. Our bodies are amazing machines, and if we give it just a little time to catch up and filter out what it needs to, then we can actually help to reset and restart our systems and help us feel better overall. So we can gain more energy. We can experience fewer and fewer mood swings. Those headaches will dissipate and will no longer experience those cravings either. Now you may experience some stomach discomfort as well in the first few days especially if you've not had enough fiber and digestive enzymes and probiotics in your diet before starting this program. Please know this is totally normal. Your system has, it has to adjust and adapt to what you're doing now. You know, what you have been eating and doing for some of us, you know, the last 15, 20, 30 years or more. So it has to take some time to sort itself out. Take inulin for, an, for example. Inulin is amazing for our bodies. It actually serves as food for all of our healthy gut bacteria. So when we have a happy, healthy gut, inulin helps the good bacteria to multiply within our gut, meaning an even healthier gut. However, inulin, being a food for bacteria, can also feed the unhealthy bacteria. So this means that if you have a system that is out of balance, out of balance, hello most of population Earth, then you may experience gas, bloating, or other intestinal discomfort. This is normal. What you'll need to do is just take extra probiotics during the course of the first few weeks of the program. And this is in addition to the Digestion Plus. And this will help to sort the bacteria out within your gut allowing the good bacteria to win over and the bad bacteria to get out of town. So if you're experiencing these issues, we can talk some more as well to make sure that you have the right probiotics for you as well as the right amount. But otherwise, that's all you need to do. I also recommend not incorporating your seven day supply of body cleanse until about week three of the 30 days. And this is because it actually helps to gently pull out toxins of your cells, like at a cellular level, deposit them into your stool and remove them from your body. And incorporating this too early into your system to just, could just create some stomach upset because of all the changes that are taking place to your system already but it's also meant to help create a boost to the cleansing process. So you want to have already eliminated those toxins and allergens already from your diet so that it can work to not have to pull those out of your body, but rather to get to those deeper clogs within your drain. And this body cleanse is 
gentle enough to use daily if you wish to go beyond the seven days. And it is a delicious lemon ginger flavor. I think it tastes just like lemonade. So I think you'll love it. Now, if you have any additional questions regarding the 30 day program, please don't hes hesitate to ask. You know, that's what I'm here for. And again, I'm so excited that you've decided to incorporate this plan into your lifestyle. And being a physician, I'm approached with a lot of different health plans and supplements. And there is a reason why this one is by far my favorite. Because it's teaching you healthy lifestyle changes and easy ways to incorporate those changes. It's helping to eliminate the guesswork because it's supplying you with two clean and nutritious meals during the day, but still allowing you to learn how to fix a clean and nutritious meal every day, but only one, so it's not overwhelming. And then as you go through the 30 days, you gain more and more experience with healthy meals. You can then go beyond the 30 days, feeling more prepared about what meals to fix, and having eliminated the toxins and restarting and resetting your system. Now you may wish to continue the program for another 30 days, or you may wish to just refill the products you really need, and then maybe have one shake per day, say for breakfast, or use it as a post-workout recovery shake. So there's several different ways to use this program, and if you'd like more information on that part, please feel free to reach out. Just know that by creating healthier habits, you allow your body to reach its full potential. And our body is able to do what it was meant to do and function at its peak optimal health. And for some people, this is de decreasing their blood pressure. You know, for others, it's lowering their blood sugar. For others, it's decreasing their weight or perhaps, um, increasing their weight, you know, if they battle with being chronically underweight. I'm also a big researcher too. And when it comes to the products, comes to these products, they've been thoroughly researched, vetted, and, you know, I've seen the third party validations on these products. So they've definitely become the ones that I not only personally use, but what I recommend to my patients as well. So if you've not started your own 30-day program and you're interested in receiving more information on how to order your own kit, please email me at info.drnikki at gmail.com. And I wish you the best as you begin this journey. And I am so excited to see where the next 30 days takes you.